Uh, many of us know the history of our local hospital, Jenny Edmondson, but for those who don't, James Edmondson moved to Council Bluffs in 1866, where he partnered in the law practice with Dexter Bloomer, husband of Amelia. After four years, they ended their partnership, and James began a successful and lucrative career in real estate. In 1882, he helped found the Council Bluffs Citizens Bank, and in 1897, purchased a controlling interest of the First National Bank. James married Jenny Wayhart in 1871. Sometime in 1878, Jenny suffered an injury at a party when, as a practical joke, someone pulled a chair out from underneath her. Um, this unexpected fall injured her spine. She then was primarily bedridden for many years, but Jenny showed signs of recovery, and in May of 1887, the Edmondson started out for an extended trip to Europe. During that trip, Jenny fell ill, and the trip was cut short. It appears she never fully recovered from the trip. The Women's Christian Association was organized in 1884 and incorporated in 1886 when the hospital opened. Early activities of that group included visiting the sick, feeding the poor, and holding prayer meetings. In 1889, the WCA asked Edmondson for a $50,000 loan for the further expansion of their operations, but he agreed to make it a gift if the hospital was named after his wife, Jenny. His wife, Jenny Edmondson, later died February 12, 1890, at the age of 42. Methodist Jenny Edmondson Hospital in Council Bluffs, Iowa, was the first hospital in the city when it opened its doors in 1886. Edmondson, an attorney, teacher, and real estate broker, also left additional money to support the hospital after his death. In 1994, the hospital became part of the Methodist Health System. And uh, today, has 236 beds in its regional health center, serving approximately 250,000 residents in Western Iowa. The hospital has a 24-hour level three emergency department, and its physicians perform inpatient and outpatient surgeries. 